Good morning, everyone. Crazy Fish Farmer here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, the process of trying to put together a bubbler. And I found this Bendex. Uh, it's some kind of vacuum booster for a rig of some sort. Somebody told me exactly what it was, but I can't remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tear it down and just kind of see what's in it and if we can use it. It's just a really good container. It's good and solid. Um, I think the bottom part's steel. The top part here is uh, some kind of cast of cast aluminum and it's got all kinds of little fittings and stuff on it. So I, I think it's gonna work fine and it'll fit in that little Subaru pretty good. Now, I told you in one of the other videos that this is just the first stage of what I'm wanting to do. Here's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the bubbler. And uh I think this container is going to work out just fine. Um, I mean, not only do we have a container to build the bubbler, but then we also have a lid. To uh, put back on it. And this is a pretty interesting little setup they have here. Huh. Well, that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you next one. Take care.
All right, I got her tore down. I think I've got all the pieces that I'm going to end up using, which is the, uh, the bottom portion um, of that container. Uh, have to customize the bottom to bring in some more air ports uh, to bubble up through the gas. And then this piece here, uh, which is a good, I don't know, a good uh, eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, um, yeah, about an eighth, I guess, steel. And what I'm going to do is drill holes in that, and that'll be the bottom plate that goes in the bottom to let the, uh, the gas bubble through. And then the, uh, the top part, probably going to cut this out and use that for air coming out. And I'm not quite sure with the rest of it, but I think we got it. Kind of like a pressure cooker. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Take care. All right, <clears throat> one more thing. Be careful if, if anybody decides to tear one of these apart. Um, when I was trying to figure out what this was, somebody told me that it was under a, a lot of pressure on a spring. And it's, it's pretty springy. If I didn't have it hooked, uh, if you notice in that portion of the video, I kind of slid these around just in case. And sure enough, when it, when it shot off, it shot off. And it uh, kind of scary a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. But just you have to be really careful with it. I guess it, you know, it probably could hurt you if um, you didn't take precautions. So, uh, so definitely watch out for the big spring. <laughs>